In today's review, we delve into a fascinating talk by Jordan Peterson. This particular speech delves into dominance hierarchies, human admiration, and our instinct to imitate and strive for success. It's a labyrinth of deep psychological insight and evolutionary biology. So for my YouTube audience, picture this review as a voyage into the deepest corridors of our minds, shining a light on why we act the way we do in various societal setups. Peterson begins with a thought experiment, prompting listeners to imagine the qualities that would elevate someone to the top of a dominance hierarchy. He integrates studies on chimps to challenge stereotypes of dominance, unlike our common perception where sheer power rules. In the chimp world, a good leader who has a congenial relationship with females and is not a tyrant tends to be more successful. This idea correlates with human society, suggesting the importance of effective and considerate leadership, as opposed to just brute force. Peterson combines the tangible attributes like beauty with the more abstract ones like admirable traits. The act of admiration, as he explains, is a fundamental human behavior rooted in our inclination to imitate. This mirrors ancient human practices where learning wasn't just about listening but watching and mimicking. The essence here is about our biological wiring. Humans, according to Peterson, are programmed to strive for the top of dominance hierarchies. Being at the top means better resources and less stress. It's not just about the tangible rewards, but the inherent human desire to be in a position of authority and respect. Right. Peterson touches on the evolutionary dynamics of mate selection, where women historically select men who have the ability to rise in the dominance hierarchies. This speaks volumes about the ingrained expectations and gender dynamics present for generations. Peterson discusses contemporary issues surrounding employment and relationship dynamics. He suggested gender bias, where employment status weighs heavier on men, emphasizing the traditional role of men as providers. You can't just bend the damn thing to your will because you have to interact with those people. And so if you don't do that with, you know, you could be a psychopath and manipulate, but that'll only work for a short period of time. You'll get caught and then you'll have to move because that's what psychopaths do. But if you're, that's how they keep being psychopaths, you know, they exhaust everyone's trust and then they have to move. And then they go find some other people who are trustworthy because they've built up trust capital with other people and then they you know, betray them, but they have to keep moving. So it's an unstable solution. So you go in there and you do it properly. Well, what are you doing exactly? No, I would say that if you're really, really nailing that interview, you're saying, well, here's a, here's a future that we could all march together into confidently and happily. That's what you're saying. And I'm the person to do that. Now you might be saying that on a relatively low scale. Like if I'm your assistant, you're never going to have to worry about me because I'm always going to be there. You know? And then if maybe you're the CEO, you're going to say, well, you know, this is, this is the way that all of us are going and here's why and this is what it's going to look like. And the better you are at that, the more that potential will turn into, it, it multiplies. That's what happens if you're good at dealing with it. The, the potential that's accessible to you multiply. So which is really... Cool. And also how you'd hope it would be. Because you don't, you'd hope that more potential would manifest itself to people who are more competent. Things work well, that would be good. The internal battle we face when approaching challenges, Peterson pinpoints the fractures in our motivations and desires. Which complicates scenarios such as job interviews, we need to confront our fears with 100% commitment to truly succeed. Peterson elaborates on the concept of confronting and digesting challenges. Drawing from Jean Piaget's theory of assimilation, Peterson elucidates how humans digest information and grow wiser. In his conclusion, Peterson ties the narrative by emphasizing the endless potential humans have. He asserts that when individuals are adept at navigating challenges, they unlock even more potential, creating a cycle of growth. The talk also peels the layers of societal structures, especially when it comes to gender dynamics. In a way, we are prisoners of age-old evolutionary practices, where choices were driven by survival rather than the emotion or equality. The expectations for men, in terms of dominance and provision, have deep roots. Yet as society evolves, these roots are being questioned and redefined, paving the way for more egalitarian norms. 
However, Peterson's talk isn't just an analysis of human behavior, it's a call to action. It reminds us that facing challenges head-on with complete commitment can unleash potential we never knew existed. It's a beckon for those lost in the dense forest, illuminating a path to the top. But the top isn't just about dominance, it's about understanding, growing and being the best version of oneself. In conclusion, the story that Peterson waves is not a tale of mere dominance but a narrative of self-discovery growth and evolution. It challenges us to introspect, to understand our place in society's intricate web and to strive not just for dominance but for purpose and fulfillment. So the next time you find yourself in a situation where you're climbing a tree in the vast forest of society, remember the lessons from this talk. Don't just climb, climb with purpose, wisdom.